In this video we're going to take a look at left tab stops in Word 2016. If you want to line things up vertically in Word, uh, there are two ways to do it basically. You can use tabs or you can put the text into tables and um, those are the two ways that you should do it. Do not use spaces. Uh, if you need to go back and do any reformatting and you tried to use spaces to line things up, uh, it's going to be really ugly to fix. So stay away from spaces when you're trying to do alignment. Okay, uh, before we do anything here, um, I want to do two things. I want to make sure that our show hide button is pushed in, and it is, so we can see paragraph marks. We'll also see whenever we hit the tab key. And the other thing I want to make sure is that my ruler is visible here. If the ruler is not visible in your document, uh, that's on the view tab. Uh, so anything that, that shows up here in your document or doesn't show up uh, can be set probably by going to the view tab here. So you should have a checkbox um, in the little show group here for ruler and that should be turned on. Okay, now let's go back to the home tab and let's take a look at what happens when I hit the tab key. Uh, so I'm going to hit the tab key once and two things. Uh, first of all, because I have the show hide button pushed in, the tab, it's just a character that gets inserted and it's uh, represented by a little horizontal arrow. And every time I hit the tab key, it moves me forward a uh, half an inch. And those are the default tab stops. So um, you can't really tell on these because it kind of puts the, the cursor or the character here in the middle, halfway between the zero mark and the half inch mark and it puts this one halfway between the half inch mark and the one inch mark but on the last one over here you see it does push the cursor not just to the end of the arrow but it pushes the cursor up to the two inch mark so there's a default tab stop I'm gonna back up three times one two three and the default tab stop is right below if I click here you can see that's right below uh, the half inch mark okay if I hit tab again and I click up here on the one inch mark, you see that little line that uh, that vertical line shows you where it's gonna, text is going to go. So, so those are the default tab stops every half inch. In earlier versions of Word, I think they quit doing this um, probably on Word 2013. Uh, there used to be another little area just below the ruler here they had little hash marks on it every half inch that showed you the, the default tab stops and those are no longer there um, so they don't show up on the ruler but those are still the defaults okay so a left ta tab stop is if you've ever used an old typewriter um, typewriters are mechanical and basically what you could do is you could slide over to a certain point and then start typing so a left tab stop will have text left aligned. So I'm just going to type a little bit of junk here. Go down the new line, hit enter or tab a couple of times, type a little bit of junk. Hit enter, type tab a couple of times, type a little bit of junk. And because I'm hitting tab twice, it moves over uh, half an inch twice or one whole inch. And everything is going to be lined up right here, right underneath the one inch mark. Okay. And if I hit, uh, as long as I continue to hit the enter key and tab over, everything will line up. Now, that is not the best way to do tab stops. Uh, what you should do is, rather than hit the, the tab twice, you should set your own tab stops up here. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. I'm just going to select it and delete it. And we're going to go back up here, and let's go over to the 1.5 inch mark. And I'm just going to click on the ruler up here. And what you see on the ruler is this little L. And you can't tell by looking, at least you can't anymore, you could with earlier versions, but uh, you can't tell by looking that these have been cleared. Anything to the left of this will get cleared out, the default. So now let's hit tab, and it takes us over to that one and a half inch mark. And if I type a little bit of junk and hit enter and tab and type a little bit of junk and hit enter and tab and a little bit of junk, uh, every time I go to a new line and hit tab once, it takes me over that one and a half inch mark which tells me that that is also a paragraph formatting command and as long as I go to the end of a paragraph and hit the enter key the formatting for that paragraph will carry over so you don't have to reset the tab stops all the time so just keep hitting enter and as long as you keep on doing that you'll still get your one and a half inch tab stop up here okay now uh, there are other types of tab stops and we'll talk about those in another video but the tab stop that goes up here, the left tab, 
is determined by this little box over here. And if you pause the mouse over that little box, uh, it'll say left tap. And if you click on it once, it will cycle to the next type of tab, and you have to move off and then back on for the little tool tip to appear. And then that upside down T is a center tab, and I'm going to click again, and I have to move off and back on, and when I do, I see, come on, let's try that again, right tab. And if I click one more time, I will see a decimal tab. And there's also a couple of other characters that are not really tab settings. I'm just going to skip through those. There's three more here. And when I uh, go back to the seventh character, the eighth character, uh, there are seven of them here. And, the, and so it just keeps cycling over and over again. So now I'm back to the left tab. And if you don't have the tab stop that you want up here, just keep clicking until you get to the one that you want. So whenever I click over here, let's... Uh, let me select all of these paragraphs first. Let me go to the three inch mark here and click again. Whatever appears here is going to be whatever is over here. So if you want to do left tab stops, make sure you've got the left tab stop character, which looks like the letter L. And if you want one of the other tab stops, make sure that you cycle through to it before you click on the ruler. Now I've got a second tab stop here. That also removes the default tab stops in between. I've still got default tab stops over here, but every half inch. But if I go here and hit tab and type a little bit of junk, and go down the next line and hit tab and type a little bit of junk and go down the next line and hit tab and type a little bit of junk then everything is going to line up and if I click on this tab stop up here you see everything is right up against it on the left edge okay and if you decide later that you don't this is why you want to use tabs instead of spaces uh, to line stuff up if you decide later and it's also why you don't want to use the defaults that you want to move it someplace else, I can select all that and I can drag that tab stop that I've got at the one and a half inch mark. I move back to the one inch mark and everything is good. If I want to take this one and move it further to the right over here to the four inch mark, I can and everything is now formatted with the left tab at one and uh, left tab at the four inch mark. So these up here, these little L's on the ruler are the tab stops. These little arrows down here are the tab characters. So a character just gets, you know, when you press the tab key on the keyboard, it just puts a tab character in there just like any other character. Um, if this is turned off, uh, it's invisible. If this is turned on, they're visible. So that's another reason why you want to keep this on so you can see where the tab characters are in your document. You know why your document looks the way that it looks. And let's select these three lines once more. And it's, it's easy to forget to select all the lines. You know, if you just select one line here and you drag the tab stop, it only affects that one line. So let's undo that. you got to select all of the ones if you want to change the tab stop. And uh, let's say that I do not want a tab stop. Um, let's put one more in here. And uh, now watch what happens, too. Uh, since I hit tab twice, um, it takes me to the second tab stop, which is right here. And then I've got a third one over here that's really not doing me any good. If you want to remove a tab stop, it's really easy. You just go up and you click on it. You drag it down. And when you get off of the ruler, you let go. And that's how you throw them away. Just click and drag. And if they're not on the ruler anymore, they go away. So that's pretty much uh, everything you need to know about left tab stops. And we'll look at center tab stops and right tab stops and decimal tab stops in some other videos.